Well, good morning, church. It's good to be with you again. Uh, It's different to be with you again this way, uh, but let me tell you why we're meeting you this way today. Uh, This weekend is Labor Day weekend, and this is normally the time where we have our what we call fall preview brunch, where we give you donuts, we give you good food, and uh, then we kind of talk about all the things that are coming up. Obviously, that's looking a little different this year, but we want to let you know of all the ministries that are starting up again here at church. Uh, We put it on video so that you have an opportunity to go back if you hear something, miss something, or want some more details about something. Uh, You'll be able to find this link on our website or on our church Facebook page. So if you see something you want to get more information about, those are the places to go. Uh, But we're going to run through a long list of things that are coming up that you may want to know about. So brace yourself, buckle up, here we go. Uh, The first one starting on September 10th, coming up this week, our Hope Restored uh, group, which is a group of widows that meets to encourage, support, fellowship, and love one another, is hosting their first meeting of the year. And it's an event that's happening at Deb Hanley's house, again, September 10th at 6 o'clock. If you want more information about that or Deb's address, feel free to contact us in the church office, and we'd love to have you be a part of that. Um, Also, coming up uh, this coming Saturday, September 12th, uh, we are hosting our event formerly known as the Chili Cook-Off. It's looking a little different this year again as well. Uh, We are doing a family picnic at Cruel Park in Olcott. Uh, That'll be 5 o'clock Saturday night, September the 12th. Uh, Bring with you a picnic dinner for your family, a blanket to sit on, a chair to sit on, whatever you're most comfortable with, and some yard games. Uh, We also always institute some sort of challenge with that, and since Chili's off the table this year, we're going in the art department. So we are asking families to paint a rock ahead of time, bring it in a paper bag, and we will be judging uh, most creative, uh, best done, and all sorts of strange categories. So come uh, ready for that, and we're looking forward to a great night of fellowship. Alex, I know it's crushing you not to be able to enter that Chili competition there, so hope rocks will do it for you instead of Chili, all right? Hey, something I know a lot of you have been waiting to hear, we're going to be bringing back some children's ministry here on site. That will begin uh, Sunday, uh, September 13th. That will be just during church time from 1030 to 1115 when the adults are upstairs in the sanctuary. But that will be available for children ages 1 through grade 4. Okay, so no babies 0 to 1, but age 1 through grade 4. Uh, we'll have some ministry here on site. So again, that's uh, 1030 to 1115. Uh, if you'd like to know more about that, look at the policy for that. You can uh, either call our church office, uh, talk to Michelle Gendrew, our children's coordinator, or you can look on our website or on our uh, Kidman Facebook page. So we're excited about bringing children back, and uh, it's going to be good to have some other little ones on campus. Also on the uh, 15th, beginning the 15th, a Tuesday night, uh, we'll begin our Grief Share course again. Grief Share has been a tremendous help. Uh, for so many people walking through grief, either a recent loss or a loss from many years ago. And uh, it's a great uh, ministry to gear to help you, support you, encourage you in that. So if you or someone you know uh, would like to be a part of that, uh, Grief Share again begins on those Tuesday nights uh, with September 15th. That will meet over in the Ad Center uh, conference room where it has met uh, previously. So those are two great ministries. We're looking forward to having a back here on campus. Yeah, also another one that I'm really looking forward to, and I know there's a lot of young people as well looking forward to it, is the return of youth ministry. Uh, Youth group is starting back up on Wednesday night, September the 16th. It'll look a little different this year than last year. We're going to split the middle schoolers and high schoolers up. So if you've got a middle school student in grades 6 through 8, a youth group will run anywhere between 6 o'clock and 7.30. And then if you've got students in grades 9 through 12, uh, we're opening the doors for them at 745 to 9 o'clock. And we would love to have your kids uh, be a part of that if they fit that age group. Uh, Also coming back after a summer off is our Mothers of Preschoolers, our MOPS ministry. Um, That is going to meet starting uh, the first and third Thursday nights of the month um, at 7 o'clock here on site in the Fellowship Hall. Um, That starts October the 1st, so that's coming up. Uh, But if you are a mom of a preschooler and you are interested in that, uh, we are having kind of a drive-through pickup materials day coming up uh, for you to check that out and get some more information. So September 19th from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, anytime in there in the parking lot, uh, come swing by and learn some more information about MOPS, pick up some information about it, and be ready to join us on the 1st of October. Of course, those are all things that we're adding back now to ministries. We've got to get into the month of September. Of course, there are things that are 
already going on that will continue to go on. We began our services back here on site uh, in July. Again, that is uh, 1030 to 1115 on Sunday mornings. And we do, do a live stream that as well. So if you want to be in the sanctuary, you can be in the fellowship hall uh, where uh, it's a little quieter, might have a little more privacy, or certainly online, as I know many of you have who have not been able or not ready to come back on campus. So we'll continue with those services, of course, a Sunday morning. Also, we have been having a one adult life hour class. We have not added back the whole life hour uh, menu, but uh, one adult class has been meeting. In the summer, they had met out on the front lawn. The, the cold weather is going to bring them into the fellowship hall. So again, that will go on Sunday mornings from 930 to 1015 uh, there, and seating is appropriately socially distanced and all that uh, inside. And then, of course, our services begin at uh, 1030 as well. Also, uh, many of you are part of or want to know more about our small group ministry. It's a very vital ministry here at LAC, helping to connect people in biblical community uh, to experience the support, the relationships that God wants uh, us to have in our lives. We had a great Zoom call the other night with uh, one of our, our small group leaders uh, just talking about the upcoming fall. A number of groups are reforming or restarting or some have room for new people. So if you'd like to be a part of that, uh, you can call the church office or uh, talk to somebody in the ch church staff just about being a part of a small group. A great way, again, to co experience that, that Christian life the way that God really wants us to. Also, just looking out down the road in October, uh, we're going to be holding our annual missions conference uh, from uh, October 11th to 18th, Sunday to Sunday. It's going to look a little different, certainly, with our uh, different constrictions with uh, COVID-19, but we're looking forward uh, to that. Uh, Mark Eichust uh, from Bosnia-Herzegovina is going to be our guest during that week. Uh, he and his wife, Kathy, have been serving uh, on the field for many, many years. So they have been here at LAC before, so we we're looking forward to having them uh, back with us again as our special guest. So that's just coming down the road uh, so you know that. I just want to say, really, as we just wrap this up, but we know next week when school starts back, there are going to be a lot of challenges, a lot of changes. And so we just want you to know all of our young families that have children in school or those who are teachers or ed educators in any way, we are praying for you. Uh, we love you all, and we are just supporting you, asking God just to help you give the grace that you need uh, to find that grace, to be able to do uh, these different schedules. It's a tough thing to navigate. Uh, but just know you're on our hearts and our minds. We're praying for it. We love you, and just hope we'll see uh, many of you soon. God bless you. Thank you.